Okay, so are you looking to get your first bag in 2024? Girl, first, let me tell you, the bags is expensive, okay? It's the ghetto out here, not the white refrigerator. Oh, honey, I was in tears almost. And it has a white refrigerator. I was like, oh, oh, not a white refrigerator. Girl, please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home, honey. Oh, Lord. Um, like, these prices be pricing. But I'm here to help you out. Okay, because I know the budget is it, it, it's tight. It's a cost of living crisis. We're in a recession in the UK. I don't know about y'all American girlies, but it's a recession. So I'm going to help you out. I've looked, scoured the internet, and I found bags under a thousand-ish. Okay, some are a tiny bit over budget, girl, but if you want it, you want it. And you just save for a little bit longer. But I've tried to make the budget a thousand pounds sterling. I don't know how that works out as dollars, but a thousand pounds sterling, and then kind of work from there. Next thing, um, thinking about brands that come to mind. If you're if you're doing your first luxury bag, then you want it to be something that you feel really proud of, like it's an accomplishment. So when I think about luxury brands um these are the brands that come to mind and i know we've had a debate on youtube about what is luxury is coach luxury coach is on the list yes it is luxury i'm gonna add my little two pence just a, a little a one pence in fact um coach is luxury luxury is subjective so to someone who can afford a birkin coach will not be luxury but to the general majority the general population who has a normal job with a normal wage if you're spending 400 pounds plus on a bag that is a luxurious item yeah it's not just your basic it's not a standard handbag that is an expensive bag and yes luxury is going to be e equated with expensive what is expensive to you might not be expensive to me what is expensive to me might not be expensive to her or him so that is what luxury is so you know we're going to cater to the ordinary person and these bags is expensive okay they are luxurious the first brand i'm going to start with is gucci and i'm going to be referring to my phone because i kind of screenshot the pictures um so that i can talk about it and i will insert the pictures here um and i'll try and give you different angles etc etc but for gucci gucci is a good one to start off with for your first luxury bag oh wait <clears throat> If you made it this far, then my name is Chi. I've said that already, but thank you so, so much for watching. Please, can you like this video if you like it? I hope you do. And subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's get into it first. Intro music. Do -do 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 -do. Hey. All right. So first bag on my list, this bag comes in at £730. Now, okay, before we get into this, well, no, let me tell you, because, <laughs> okay, so the first bag is the Ophidia GG mini bag. Here we go. Okay, this bag is super cute. Now, what I was about to say before I interrupted myself is when you're thinking about your first luxury bag, it depends, what do you want it for? For me, your first luxury bag is going to be a bag to go out with for dinners, to go to the club, to do whatever, like it's for special occasions. You might be someone who's a little bit more practical and you want your first luxury bag to be like for work, to use every day as a day-to-day -day bag. Me, generally, these bags are like going out bags, but I have put in some casual bags. I haven't put any tote bags, okay? For a thousand pounds, you're getting yourself a mini bag, okay? Some of these bags is even phone cases because, girl, the prices be pricing. Now, I don't want to talk about the past and live in the past, but if you really, really want to get your cost per wear, your money's worth, you needed to be buying 10 years ago. Me, I wasn't buying 10 years ago. Like three years ago, I started buying and they've even increased since then. But let's not live in the past. So the first bag is the Ophidia GG mini bag. I think this bag is super cute. It doesn't hold a lot, but it'll hold your essentials. I believe it should hold a standard um, phone, your purse, your keys, um, and a lip balm. That's it. Those are the basics, yeah? So all of these bags, I believe, should um, uh, fit the essentials. But do your research. Girl, I can't do everything for you. But I would also say, go onto um, the Gucci website and um, 
go on to all handbags and sort from lowest to highest yeah because we have to be real the price will guide us the price will guide us don't start looking at two thousand pound bags if that's not in the budget so it's not from lower to higher work your way up once you get reach your budget stop stop scrolling stop scrolling because you don't want to put in your head something that is not in your price range yes you could save a bit longer but if you want it now, let's work with the budget that you have right now rather than go outside it. Although, I'm going to show you some bags outside of £1,000. I'm so sorry, girl. But I need to show you what's out there. So the Affidia GG mini bag. I've got a few options for Gucci. So it depends on your taste. This is a top handle bag. I don't really think it could be a shoulder moment unless you're like size zero. Then if so, that can be a shoulder bag. Um, next one is the Affidia Supreme mini bag. Now, this bag is £795, so only, not only, but like £40 more. Is that quick mass? Four plus three is not eight. That is seven. Uh, seven, eight, nine, four, four five, £600 more. Ooh, yeah. The quick mass is not quick. Um, this one is a, is a casual bag. It's a crossbody bag, so it depends. Are you a top handle? Are you a crossbody? Like, what do you like? But I think this is a good bag for an everyday bag and um, bringing some luxury to your everyday. Next one, this one's more of an going out bag. And there is the mini version, but the mini version is too tiny. Do not get the mini version. Like, it's not by force that you're going to force that luxury bag and buy a bag for £600 and never use it. Although, in saying that, let me show you my mini bag. Exhibit A. You can do that. This was my first luxury bag. And the bag is tiny. This is the iPhone 13 mini. As you can see, it fits in nicely, but it's about the size of an iPhone 13 mini. Um, I've got no regrets. This bag did what it did for me, but if you're not a mini bag person, then sometimes it can feel by force. And I'll show you some examples of where it's by force. But this um, Ophidia small handbag does have a mini version, so it's up to you. That one is, I think, 675, so a lot more affordable. This one's 975. I think it's worth it to save those few hundred pounds more to get a decent size bag that you can wear casually um and going out and it can fit more than just the basic essentials next brand we're going to go on to is louis vuitton i think louis vuitton is like for me when i think luxury if i'm thinking about my first bag I, these are the brands that i'm coming to so gucci defo for me gucci's always been that girl always will be that girl and that's some period um but yeah louis vuitton louis vuitton don't have no cheap bags they don't have any bags under a thousand pounds girl i was checking they don't have no bags under a thousand pounds this is the closest we get to a thousand pounds the pochette felici bag and I'm not even going to tell you how much this bag used to cost. But right now, it's £1,060. Is it worth it? Yes, it is, in my opinion. Um, it's a going out bag. But equally, you can use it as a casual bag. You can change the straps. It comes with a chain strap. Personally, I don't love a chain strap. Although, saying that, <laughs> this defo has a chain strap. So, <laughs> don't listen to me. But listen to me. Keep watching. Keep watching. Next bag that I think... It's also very good. It's definitely over the budget, but it depends. Girl, do you want it or not? Like, if you want Louis Vuitton, you're going to have to spend more than £1,000. So this one is £1,460. It's the mini bum bag. Now, I think this bag is cute. Personally, I don't love a bum bag, but if I was going to have a bum bag, this would probably be the type of bum bag that I would get. It comes with a vaquetta strap and also with a chain strap. So you can wear it casually, but you can also wear it more going outy. I don't know if you can really get away with wearing this to the club, but it can do a little something, something. So the mini bum bag, I think that's a good option. Again, in Louis Vuitton, they've got lots of nanos. The nanos are about 1,380. Not about precisely. They are exactly 1,380. So you could get the nano alma bag um this is cute and actually the difference between this one and the bb which you could go for the bb the bb is maybe even a bit cheaper let me just double check oh i don't have the prices up here but it's about the same price or a tiny bit cheaper or a tiny bit more expensive i'll put a price on the board because on the board i'll put a price on, on, in the clip but i don't have it at the top of my i don't have it on my phone for some reason but yeah so you could do the Nano or you could do the BB. The Nano is tinier than the BB. Why are they the same price? Because the Nano is new. And Nano, 
and mini bags are in so it depends what you want bb i do have the bb let me show you so this is the bb um this was again one of the first bags i got um so i got that gucci and then i got this and then i got my second gucci that's the bigger size so i do think this is a good um first bag but you know arguably the nano is even a little bit cuter than this the difference with the nano is with the monogram uh this is viketa as well whereas with the um sorry with the bb this is viketa as well but with the nano this is actually the monogram print so it means you don't have too much of the viketa which is good because that viketa can be quite delicate and what it looks like is that it's already pre-treated so it's not going to come super super pale it's already going to come in that lovely golden patina so i think you know the nano alma bag could be a cute bag equally depending on what you like you could do the nano speedy bag which you know that has been that girl still that girl it used to be very hard to get now it's readily available because what well, we're not buying at the same rate that we was buying during the lockdown uh because the cost is too much so will the will luxury prices come down like i'm waiting like will it i don't know but yeah those are the options from louis vuitton there's only one that's at the budget a thousand pounds and then if you're gonna save about 300 pound more i mean 400 pound more really because three 380 let's round that bitch up that's 1400 pounds um you could get the nanos <laughs> they don't fit much so that's something to bear in mind maybe if you are planning on buying these things um go to the store like go to the louis vuitton boutique and actually try on the size bring your try put your phone in and just see what it feels like because i have bought all my um, bags online i don't know why i haven't really um i've never gone to the store to buy it um and i know we talk about oh yeah you know getting the luxury experience getting your local champagne but supposedly it's not really that's not how it is anymore but i don't know one day i'll buy from the store but not just yet um so that's louis vuitton next i'm going to talk about prada Prada again it's, it's it's over the budget there's only one bag that I found that's on the budget and that is the re nylon Prada re-edition 2000 mini bag that comes in Siri shut your blood clot mouth who's talking to you hey Siri stop these phones they're trying to take over like I feel like Will Smith in a world of robots I feel like Will Smith in a world of robots can, can can nobody else see that they're trying to take anyways open your third eye my brother open that third eye these ai's trying to... um the re nylon prada re-edition why so many re's re the re re bag the re the re bag 920 pound it's a shoulder bag it's giving Y2K vibes. It's made out of nylon. So you're not paying for the materials here. You're paying for the brand. But Prada, that to me is like a luxury brand. Like you really feel like, okay, I made it here. Look at me with my little cool Prada bag. This one, I think you could get away with having it as a going out bag. It's definitely more of a casual bag. But what makes it kind of going out, like taking it to the club, to a nice restaurant, is the fact that it's a shoulder bag. Like shoulder bags give me going out. There is another version that's a little bit more expensive that I don't know. It says re, um, so the Prada re-edition 2005 re-nylon and Safiano mini bag. Um, it's, so it says it's got Safiano and Safiano and that is the leather. I think that's literally just the tabs. But then this one looks like it's got, I don't know what they mean by that. But this one's got gold hardware. Um, so maybe a little bit more going out-ish than the silver hardware. And that comes in at £950. And that's it from Prada. There was nothing else in the budget, girl. Don't even bother checking. Next, we go to Fendi. Fendi is also not in the budget. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you think £1,000. Oh, I got lots of money to spend. Mm. Not for these up there brands, but I will. Don't worry, I got you. I got some other brands, but yeah. So are you seeing here? Like Gucci is actually affordable compared to the rest of them so next one fendi we're gonna go with the by the way mini small brown ff fabric boston bag and that comes in at 1290 pounds i think this is cute it's top handle or you can have it as a crossbody it's got the signature ff um 
monogram print it's clearly fendi for me personally for your first designer bag it's not about being quiet okay it's about being loud designer bag luxury i made it yeah go me go me go me go me. it's a celebration why else otherwise get yourself the road that's what that's supposedly the it thing amongst the the successful all right let's see what other brands did i have in here okay so next we're gonna go to ysl ysl is not really in the budget now let me tell you one that is in budget and this is where i'm talking about the mini bags that are just not realistic so you got a cassandra phone holder with strap in smooth leather now don't be deceived because I watched a couple YouTube videos about this and I was like, oh my gosh, a designer bag for £535. That's cheap. I'm in. I'm in. Where do I sign up? I'm YSL. Like, that's one of the big ones. It's not even YSL anymore. It's St. Laurent. Like, they fancy now. Like, that's bougie. I said, okay, let me get this. Let me get this. Like, look, at, look how big it looks on this model here. Look how big it looks. I said, okay. Now look at me. Look how tiny this thing is. Look at me wearing this crossbody. This thing came up to here. It was a titty bag. I said, what? That looks false. That looks like a free with purchase pouch that I turned into a bag. This looks, this looks ridiculous. This is where, if that was your first luxury bag, girl, I'm so sorry if this is your first luxury bag, but I think it looks a bit false. Like for me, but if you're size zero, then you can probably get away with it. But for me, if you are on the less than ridiculously skinny no we're not we're not body shaming here if you are chunkier no even that that term doesn't if you are plus size if you are just healthy no oh my gosh that's so rude because that implies that people who are skinny are not healthy of course they're healthy girl i'm trying to be like y'all trust me i'm trying to be like y'all but if you are a size a uk size 14 and up then this ain't really gonna it's not really gonna the countenance is not meeting the countenance is not meeting who watches just 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 the mess no it's not even just the mess oh my god i'm so sorry who is that just hilarious she is so funny have you guys been watching um love is blind please i promise you you will not regret it just hilarious why do i keep saying just hilarious i don't think that's the name let me find it jesse Wu. <laughs> i'm so disrespectful jesse Wu. jess hilarious is somebody else um i don't know she's not my comedy i'm not saying that she's not good but like i don't w watch her comedy but jesse Wu, please if you watch love is blind watch her video she is hilarious she is so so funny She's the funniest woman I've seen on the internet. And her videos are like 1 hour 30. Oh, why is that name so itchy? Ah. Oh, God. The tip of my nose is so itchy. Yeah, her videos are like 1 hour 30. But you'll end up watching the whole thing. Like, don't be put off by how long. Because sometimes I don't really like to watch a long, long video. But it's so funny watch it but the countenance the countenance is not meeting not in black history my black women's black history black black excellence ma'am <laughs> she's so funny oh my gosh um okay let's get back to the video so we've looked at yeah this why so bad girl try it on for yourself let's see let's see but i've got a few other options that are over budget but just slightly so the one, um, sorry, the Cassandra envelope chain wallet in lambskin, this is £1,110. And actually I've got a video on this, so I'll link it up here. Um, it's my, my sister bought the bag. Again, this bag is not plus size friendly because that crossbody was not crossbodying for me at all. That strap was very disrespectful. Very, very, the continence is not meeting. The continence. <laughs> it was very disrespectful. And, um... What's that saying? It was non-adjustable. Non-adjustable. But the strap does come off, so you could change the strap. But on your first bag, you don't want to be doing amendments because what strap are you buying? Buying a strap from Etsy on your, your brand new luxury bag. 
no you shouldn't have to do that next one would be the mini lair 5r 7 in smooth leather what is this name this is 1295 i ain't seen it in person but it fits the budget it's a it's a it's a um shoulder bag moment it can be casual it can be going out why am i looking at myself in the mirror oh, sorry <laughs> this one make sure that i look all right because last one my shirt was like not adjusted properly it was very very annoying because i'm not going to film the whole thing again this looks weird because i have to safety pin it because it's a very low cut um low cut low cut top which y'all don't need on this youtube um but i'm trying to like not always be wearing the same t-shirts every single time i film all right so yeah that bag 1295 that's it from St. Laurent. <laughs> the rest is too expensive, okay? So I'm trying to help you out by not uh, enticing you with things that is going to get you out of your comfort zone because let me tell you what you don't want to do for your first luxury bag is put that on a credit card or use your overdraft. Don't do it, sis. I promise you, I understand the temptation, but it's not worth it. Save your money and buy it when you're ready and you will feel so much better about that purchase i promise you you'll feel some you'll be so proud of yourself for being able to get something that you really wanted that wasn't necessarily in your budget at the time that you wanted it i promise you do not put it on your credit card all right <laughs> now back, back 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 um to the show okay so those are the like for me first luxury bag these are the brands that you're looking at gucci louis prada fendi saint laurent those are the five ones you ain't buying a hermes bag for your first luxury bag if you are then girl well done to you because you got money a lot skittles uh some dips reese's pieces ah. pretzels <laughs> and a large popcorn a large you got your money he got money get it all for him <laughs> like okay oh my god look at him he's got money like mm -mm. for for the rest of us we ain't starting our luxury our first luxury bag is not hermes it's not chanel it's not um dior it's not yeah it's not those three what else is expensive it's not the row God damn, the road don't even have no branding. Those bags are like £5,000. Are you joking? What? Only rich people will know that this is a luxury bag. <sighs> like, let's, let's, let's get into it. Are we trying to look rich? Is that why we want it? To look like we are poor people putting themselves out to buy things that make them look rich when they're not actually rich? I don't know. I don't think so, to be fair. But I'm not going to get into a deep conversation. Do you know whose channel's very good for, like, talking about things? Politics and fashion. I'm going to link her video down below because I'm just going to let y'all know the channels that I like to watch. Because um, maybe you like to watch maybe you already know about them. But politics and fashion, hmm, that woman is hilarious. Like, we could be friends. I, I feel like that's my, that's my girl. She my friend. Um, and I hope that's how you guys feel with me. That's what I want. I want to like, let's, let's kick it. Let's chill. Let's, let's, ooh, twin, where have you been? Yeah, one thing about me is I can't hold in. Nobody knows you like I do. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the note? What's the words? What's the lyrics? Twin, where have you been? Um, in the club, we be wildin'. Uh, 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 not there yet okay so let's talk about some other brands that i think are still good maybe not at that level of the brands that the, those five brands that i said and we're already not talking about those other brands that we don't really need to talk about right now for the first luxury bag um but that i think will still give you that satisfaction and that buzz so first let's talk about coach coach is luxury Mm -hmm. to us ordinary people with ordinary jobs with ordinary wages coach is luxury okay because that's not some cheap 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 yeah you can get things cheap there you can get like a hundred and a hundred pound bag again cheap to me might not be cheap to you okay so don't be offended if i call something cheap and it's expensive to you okay because it's, 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 we ain't here to beef 
They even had to beef, all right? So from Coach, I think you can't go wrong with the Tabby 26. It's a Coach classic, has been around for years, decades, can I say? I don't know the history of the Tabby 26, but it's been around for a long while and it's a classic. I even want it myself. I don't have the Tabby 26 classic and I do want it. Um, it's cute. I just love the side profile of this bag. The side profile, the accordion side profile. Ooh, it really does it for me. Um, you can wear it top handle. You can wear it crossbody. It's just, it just bangs. It's got the C on there. We all know it's coach. Um, or if you want to be a little bit more trendy, you could get the Tabby 26 quilted version. Um, this one, again, you can wear it shoulder bag or crossbody. The difference here is this one's got a chain strap, so it's giving a little bit of a Chanel vibe. Although, you could probably... I think you can compare it more to the Gucci Marmon um, bag than the um, Chanel bag. I don't know if it truly is given Chanel, but like obviously the, the 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 thing with Chanel is that it's got a similar sort of strap with the leather woven into the chain. It's also a flat bag. It's also quilted. So I don't know. I really do like the Tabby 26, but with the quilted version, I don't think I like the like diagonal sorry <clears throat> diagonal stitching the diagonal quilted stitching i'm not in love with that but yeah you can have a look have a browse on um coach because there's lots of viable options for your first bag there next one which i would probably say is a bit more on the trendy side but definitely valued as a designer brand like i think it's accepted as luxury now these days um would be jacques mousse um i think you can't go wrong with the bambino i've got the grand bambino let me go get that so i've got the grand bambino but do you know what i think would be even cuter i mean this one definitely because it actually fits your essentials but equally i think you could get the le bambino so the le bambino is 585 this is now i think 765 so i don't think it's worth it that i got this for 500 um so it's now 200 pound more um so le bambino is 585 that is a cute bag um the lake le shakito long is 610 that is again a very cute bag the le bizu pearl that's 655 i think this is a really viable option it is a shoulder bag i think it can extend like that um that ball thing can like extend so you could wear that as a crossbody but don't quote me girl do your research i don't know i think so um but yeah that that's a reasonable price and you can wear that as a going out and more of a casual bag and then the le bambino long i think the le bambino long is a really good option that one's a bit more expensive 805 pounds um so yeah have a look I think those are all cute options so let me check let me let me check my checklist to make sure that i've got all my ideas out because i wrote it in the little note section of my pm agenda all right so starting by collection gucci three options louis vuitton four options prada fendi jacques mousse coach ysl yeah i've gone through all of them the other things to consider is what color you're going to get it in um you can't go wrong with a black bag my first bag was not black my first bag was um this uh, and then brown so brown's also a good color like a monogram print whatever the monogram is for that designer they're usually brown to be fair um for me a neutral is pink so i got quite a few brown and pink bags i didn't get a black bag until like four bags deep but if you're someone that wears black a lot or you feel like black is what you want to do then do black but for me pink is a neutral one is like a pop of color to go with whatever you're wearing um so yeah those are things to consider the style of bag is it going to be a top handle is it going to be a shoulder bag is it going to be a crossbody like what do you like what is your style mine the picks that i've given are mostly crossbody and top handles i am somebody that prefers more of a top handle moment so you know that's gonna have impact on the bags that i'm looking at but i hope this was helpful for you um and if it was and if you're here and you're still watching then girl have you liked the video 
I didn't. You didn't. <coughs> Sorry, I just choked on the disrespect. Like, what the hell? Girl, you, you didn't like it. Can you can you like it now, please? I'm just going to ask nicely. I hope you, you, you don't take this as, as too forward, but please. Can you like the vid? Yeah, the vid. I don't know I call it the vid. I don't know. <laughs> But can you like this video right now? Mm -hmm. Can you subscribe? And do you know what? Even better yet, can you turn on the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload? Because my video days be all over the place. The continents is not on Um, Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.